So just a little update um, this morning before I get working again. We have started, as you can see behind me, plastering. Much done though because my plaster for some reason was kind of greeny slash lumpy and wasn't mixing very well. And so I had to put it all on yesterday with this little tool. St literally just a joint knife because it was the only thing that could like break down the grain on the wall and also I don't know if you can see this wall is like really grainy anyway so I think it kind of pushed the grainy plaster into it so I think it turned out pretty well these walls are not at all even or flat to start with so I'm not too worried about it not being great besides I'm gonna put primer and stuff anyway and this is the corner no one's gonna see it was my practice wall um not not the best but i think it's it's okay oh anyway i tried to break up the plaster some more with this bit um and then hopefully i can also break it up more in the actual like when i mix it now because uh, i ended up just mixing it yesterday for most of it with this and I gotta clean this all out I was expecting to do more last night and I ended up having to go to Menards hopefully I'll get a video of me actually putting it on probably not this wall probably in the living room somewhere over that way but like I'm super excited it's been four months now getting to this point this plaster was not easy to get and I had to go literally almost two states away to get this um, made a little vacation out of it but still she got it pretty cheap considering the fact that I had to drive I live pretty I live at the like border of my state so down to the other border of the state south of me um but ended up being like sixty dollars in gas and for the plaster and then I did a mini day vacation so that cost money but you know what it's been five months and I haven't had a vacation since July of last year so yeah it's a it's been a journey getting this far, but it's it's gonna be worth it. It's an 80 year old house and I'm hoping to make it last through my 30 year mortgage. I don't know if I'm gonna be one of those people that live in their house the whole mortgage, but I moved a lot in the last five, six years. So I'd like to be here at least five, ten years. So and then, you know, hopefully we're upgrading the value, you know. You'll see some of the changes that we're making, some of the lovely updates. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get back to work.